Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I had a lot of fun uh, the other day doing my road trip videos, so we are gonna be out doing that again today, and we're just gonna be making one stop, and that's at my uh, local card shop. And uh, we're gonna pop into Zephyr Epic and see what they have on the shelf. Maybe I can find myself a, a hobby box of uh, 2020 update, maybe even a uh, another jumbo box, we'll see, and also see what they have for uh, you know, potential blasters and hanger boxes, but uh, we'll wait and see what they have and look forward to chatting with you soon. Well, there you have it. As you can see, we had a uh, very successful trip to the LCS and um, I am driving right now. I'm not holding my phone. It is in a safely fixed position, keep my eyes on the road, uh, but it was great. I mean, I picked up a 2020 uh, Tops Update Jumbo Box and uh, I opted out on the Hobby Box uh, this time around. I'd rather invest that money into some uh, more various blaster boxes as you can see but we got some uh, 2020 top series 2 with uh, Luis Robert rookie card in there and then we also picked up some leather and lumber some more high number 2019 heritage which I love and uh, also uh, the uh, one of the managers of the card shop they they know that I'm in there quite often he had a box a blaster box of 2018 tops chrome and it had uh, lost its plastic. It got ripped in uh, loading the shelves or packaging or something, so he couldn't sell it. And uh, just out of uh, customer appreciation, uh, he he offered it to me at no charge, which uh, I graciously accepted that kind gesture. So thank you so much, uh, Evan at Zephyr Epic for that, uh, that kind gift and uh, it's the main place I, I ever go and uh, invest into sports cards. So uh, I really do appreciate them for that. But uh, let's go and see what, uh, what we're gonna open up. I don't know what that's gonna be yet, but uh, we'll find out in just a moment. Stay tuned. Okay, we are back. Thanks for joining me on that card hunting journey to the local card shop I have in my area. And uh, it was awesome. I mean, as you can see, we, uh, I mean, you saw in the video, but you can see here, we got ourselves a pretty decent uh, stockpile of cards and mostly retail. I mean, we do have a jumbo box of Tops Update 2020, which is awesome. And a blaster box of 2019 High Number Heritage, blaster box of 2019 Leather and Lumber, and a 2020 Stadium Club and a 2020 uh, Baseball Series 2. Uh, and also, as you saw in the video, there was a blaster box of 2018 Topps Chrome. Now, the cool thing about, uh, about that is the box was in the back uh, of the local card shop without any type of factory seal plastic on it. It just came off somehow during uh, distribution or delivery or it was ripped when uh, the local card shop received the order and so they couldn't sell it and um, the manager there um, wanted to thank me for my continued business and he gave me that blaster box at no charge. So that was pretty awesome of him. I was super grateful and and uh, double checked that he was okay with making me that offer and, and he was very adamant that he wanted to do that. So of course I graciously accepted and you know what, for a change I 
opened it off camera and uh, it was nice to do that without having to you know have a bunch of things to say or, or do things in a certain order or way and uh, gave me a break from having to edit a video so it was fun to open it I wanted to show you my favorite cards out of that blaster box and we start off with this future stars Aaron Judge again this is 2018 Topps Chrome Blaster so that's a cool card you know I, I I watch Aaron Judge, I, I, I hear about him, I read about him, I look at his stats, and I always think that he's been in the league for 10 years. Uh, this guy was a rookie in 2017, I mean, that's only three years ago. Uh, so cool to pull this. And then also pulled a Victor Robles, uh, this is a 1983 uh, Topps Design and uh, Refractor. So that was pretty awesome. Also pulled a Aussie Albies Chrome Rookie. Very cool to put in the collection, and my favorite, and I, I do not own this card, but I do now, and um, this will definitely go in the PC for probably a long time, um, but uh, pulled a Acuna Junior Rookie Chrome out of that blaster box. Uh, hopefully you guys have some uh, decent view uh, of it, but uh, yeah, I was really stoked to pull this card. Um, he looks super small and young in this picture too, even compared to his, um, flagship tops. Uh, I believe it was, uh, update, his update series, um, paper product. Um, looks different than this one. This almost looks like a, uh, a minor league picture. But anyways, very happy to pull this one and have it in the collection. And, uh, not too sure quite yet what we're gonna open I mean we have the option of 2019 or we have the option of some uh, top series 2 um, which is uh, I will clarify these are two hanger boxes see that there and then stadium club I'm gonna hold off on this for now I think it'll make the video too long uh, considering we uh, drove around a little bit today and so let's actually do the 2019 I'm curious to open up the leather and lumber and see what hit. The great thing about leather and lumber is that you're guaranteed a hit. The not so great thing is there's only one pack in there. And uh, inside that pack, uh, there are 10 cards. Um, so yeah, look forward to seeing. It's either gonna be an auto or a relic in that box. But before we do that, let's take a look at my five cards from my PC today. And today we are taking a look at five of uh, some of my favorite short prints I have in my collection. So, and these ones here are flagship type short prints. Um, so they're not, you know, Allen and Ginter or gallery or gallery short prints. But here we have a Jacob de Grom. It's a short print from... 2018 top series 2 and the last two digits uh, on the code is 1 2 which is one of the short print numbers and uh, next up we have this Edwin Encarnacion from I believe 2016 2017 top series 2 last two digit code on there is 87 which is a short print code really like that one then we have a Chris Sale, which is from 2000 and, uh, or 2020 update. So I just pulled this um, just a couple of days ago when I did that. Uh, I posted the video yesterday of the uh, 2020 Tops update. And then we have a Robin Yount short print. This one here is from 2019 update series, and the code is 55 on the bottom which is one of the short print codes. So that's a cool one. And my ultimate favorite right now is this Bo Jackson. This one here is from 2019. Yeah, Gypsy Queen. And the last two digit code is 23, which is a short print code. And yeah, definitely my favorite one right now in the PC. So there you have it. Let's get on to opening up some cards. I also submitted my claims, my claims report to Tops uh, uh, yesterday. I shipped it off yesterday, 
Uh, you have to do it by mail. You can't just do a claims online. Um, but uh, yeah, I submitted that, and uh, to re to hopefully they will replace. Uh, hopefully they will. Oh, sorry, there's two packs in here, not just one. Um, hopefully they will replace that missing uh, mega pack, silver pack, whatever you call those things, uh, mojo packs. I think there's a few names for them. But uh, there was one missing in the box, and even though there was one that had masking tape on it, which is weird, and the pack seemed loose, uh, it was, it appeared to be still factory sealed. So, I mean, I didn't, and all the cards were there, so I didn't uh, put a claim in for that one, just for the missing pack. And that video should actually be up already. I did a how-to video. So if you haven't checked it out already, make sure you do. I'll uh, show a picture of the thumbnail here, I'm sure, and uh, get a link in the description. But I did a how-to video on how to submit a claim to TOPS for damaged cards, missing packs, missing hits. Uh, there's various different things, miscuts. You can you can claim just about anything. And there's five five steps that you have to follow in order to submit that claim. And there's no guarantee that uh, Tops will uh, replace anything. But from what I hear, they are really good with that. And what you'll learn in the video is, um, you know, there are some terms that does not qualify you to to do a claim. So definitely check out that video. I think it's going to be uh, a good uh, public service announcement on that. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else do a video on that yet, so hopefully it helps someone. And if it does, let me know. Let me know what your issue was with TOPS and, uh, you know, look forward to hearing if you're able to, um, you know, to get them to, you know, reimburse you. So let's start off with 2019 high number. We're just going to burn through these cards pretty quick. We will take a glance at any card that is above... 700 and I do tend to like to go through those numbers first so you'll see here uh, high number goes to uh, number I believe it's 401 to 701 oh sorry 401 to 700 that's the base numbers uh, so 676 falls within that range any card that is above 700 is a short print and then of course you can verify that by the last two digits at the bottom which you will see the top card is a regular base card. The last two digits is 2-1. And the card underneath it is the short print, which the card number at the top corner is higher than 700. So that's your first identifier. And the second one will be the last two digit code. You'll see there is 29, not 21. So that's a short print. And... Um, yeah, that's the only short print. So now that we check that, let's quickly burn through these. Joe Harvey rookie. Taylor Clark rookie. And the short print is Hector Neris. So we'll put Hector Neris aside. What do you guys all do with your short print cards? Do you itemize them? Do you sort them? Do you organize them outside of the regular base uh, card box that you put all your cards in? Do you uh, have your own separate uh, kind of valuable PC box that you might sort of keep all your short prints together? Or do you just keep them with the regular base set and rookies and all that? Let me know in the comments section. So we're just going to quickly take a look for any short print. Looks like we have a fabric card here. No short prints in this pile. At least none based on the card number, not the code. So we have a Victor Robles fabric. Trevor Bergen rookie. Nick Anderson rookie. And Lance Lynn on the back. Third pack. Do a quick glance for short print numbers. So we have one short print there. Nikki Lopez, rookie. Pete Alonzo, rookie. There you go. That'll be the first favorite card of the pack. And then John and Cueto short print. Okay, 
quick glance in that top corner. No short prints. Brandon Brennan. Yelich award winner insert. Jason Martin rookie. Drew Jackson rookie. And Jed Lowry at the back. Let's see if we can pick up the speed a little bit here. So I haven't hit any chrome variations in a while uh, in uh, Heritage. Nate Lowe, rookie. Hey, Michael Chavis, rookie. That's a good one. I've seen hot boxes uh, pulled. I can't remember if I've... I don't think I've had a hot box from Heritage. But uh, they do have those purple chrome variations um, in every single pack when you get a hot box. Usually there's one per box, I believe. One per hobby box. Duplantier rookie. Now and then with Taylor Clark. And Corbin Martin rookie at the back. Two packs left. And I uh, wanted to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you so much for being uh, willing to subscribe and uh, tune into all the new videos. And it's great to see the channel grow. Um, what I do appreciate the most is how uh, how much uh, the subscribers on our channel here like to communicate in the comment section. So I, I like having conversations and engaging with with everybody who's uh, who's into that. So thank you so much for for interacting and for supporting the channel. Really appreciate that. We are on our way to 400 subs. I uh, posted a, this card on Instagram because I thought it was an interesting uh, choice by Tops. Obviously, they maybe didn't notice, or they just—I mean, wouldn't they wouldn't care either way? They don't see anything about it. But if you take a look at this uh, Jesus uh, Sucre card, you'll see that uh, his name is spelt just like Jesus, and the card number is six six six. So I, I, I don't know how uh, I, I noticed that when I was sorting through cards the other day, but uh, I just uh, I posted that on Instagram and thought it was uh, uh, an interesting uh, combination from tops there. So there's no short prints in this one. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, Eloy. Eloy rookie. Jimenez. This stock seems to have uh, cooled down a lot. Here we have a Williams S. Tadillo with the Twins. Rookie performers. It's a nice one. I don't think that's numbered. Nope. Hey, Nick Senzel, rookie. That's another good one. Yeah, Elo Yemen is uh, stock value seems to have gone down quite a bit. Um, I find that when I do sell cards on eBay that they do they either just go for 99 cents or, I mean, a lot of them are just not really selling. I find the same thing with Juan Soto. Anyways, so this one here feels like it has the hit in it and it's likely going to be a relic because it's quite thick. I mean, it could be a relic auto, but I'm not going to count on that. We will start off with this pack. Slugfest, Chris Bryant. I really like this product because every card is different. Uh, Pat Patrol or oh, Rod Carew. We got a Roy Gampanella. And a Tony Gwynn, Pat Patrol. It's weird that you see... See, this is not common. It's not common that you get two of the same inserts in the same pack. That is rare. At least it has been for me. And I've opened two or three of these. And then Charlie Blackburn. So here's what the backs look like. They're not numbered in any way. They have that nice 3D kind of look to them and feel. Nice texture. So Leather and Lumber is basically a product of all inserts. 
And with the guaranteed hit, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so if I can sneak that card on the back. All right, so we have a Eugenio Suarez. I guess these would probably be considered the base cards. Uh, Wilson Ramos. Jacob deGrom. A gold lettering, Charlie Blackman, and our hit is uh, actually backwards here. So let's just see, is this gold numbered in any way? No. Nope. All right, so our hit is going to be... It's hard to tell because they don't have any team logos, and it's a bat relic of Kristen Stewart. So dual bat and jersey relic. These are not numbered either. And a bit basic. I mean, from a value perspective, you may get two bucks. If someone really loves uh, Christian Stewart and uh, the Detroit Tigers, then you may get five bucks or something for it. But uh, traditionally, they're not, um, you know, that valuable. Unless you happen to hit a, a, you know, a really big player from 2019, like an Acuna or uh, maybe a Vladdy or something like that. So there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. It was fun to do that road trip uh, today and uh, getting, uh, being able to open up some packs. So thanks for tuning in. Look forward to uh, seeing you on the next one.